In this video, we're going to talk about VOCs, or volatile organic compounds. What are they, where do they come from, and how do you get rid of them? Hi, my name is Peter Mann with Aronsi. And so to jump right into it, a VOC is a volatile organic compound. And what that means is it's a chemical that can easily turn into gases or vapors at room temperature. And so these chemicals are found in many common household products and materials. The main sources are things like building materials and furnishing, things like paint, varnishes, or finishes, carpet and vinyl flooring, wood flooring, furniture, new cabinets, furniture, and beds. A second category is household and personal care products, things like cleaning supplies and room deodorizers, air fresheners, cosmetics and personal care products, and pesticides, art and craft supplies, things like glues, markers, and paints, printers and photocopiers, using fuel-based appliances like gas stoves and furnaces. And so we have all of these VOCs or chemicals in our home, and it's, it's particularly a problem uh, because our homes are so energy efficient. You know, if you wind the clock back to the late 70s, there was a you know, gas shortage, fuel supply issues were a problem, and there was a huge focus on energy efficiency. And what, what resulted from that was this homes were much more airtight, much more energy efficient. So when you were cooling it in the summer, you weren't losing cold air to the outside. And when you were heating it in winter, the hot air stayed in. The problem is VOCs, you know, these things are often stored inside. They're just, the, the VOC levels can build up. And, and so, you know, the next logical question is, well, how do you get rid of VOCs? And you treat a VOC like you would any other air quality issue. And there's three main strategies. The first being source control, which is don't bring the, the VOC into the home, you know, in the first place, but in a lot of cases that, that's just not possible. The second strategy is ventilation, but with our home so airtight and, and really a focus on energy efficiency, that can be really difficult, but opening windows and doors um, is a great, great way to get ventilation, provided that the air quality outside um, is not poor, the temperature isn't too hot or too cold, or it's not raining or too humid outside. So. Um, is kind of conditional whether or not you can do that. And the third strategy is air cleaning. With air cleaning, how do you remove the VOC from the air? And so the main um, filter type that you want is, is a carbon filter and not just a thin carbon filter, but a dense carbon filter. Um, activated carbon is very highly porous. It can absorb, you know, and, and broad spectrum of VOCs. It's not effective for all VOCs. There's things like formaldehyde where activated carbon is, is really not very effective for and you need another type of media. Um, you know, not to geek out too much, but like potassium permanganate is one that is pretty effective for formaldehyde. And so your carbon, a carbon filter like this is either treated like ours is to kind of um, do more than what standard activated carbon can do, or it has additional types of media like alumina or potassium permanganate in it um, to absorb the full spectrum of VOCs. And then the, you know, the other piece is you have to move enough air through the filter to effectively clean the VOCs in your space, and that's just a matter of airflow. Um, and so it's really the two working together. You, you can have the best filter in the world, but if you don't have enough airflow, it's not going to clean the VOCs in your space. And so what happens is as the VOCs come in, um, it just gets absorbed into the pores or the cracks and crevices of the carbon filter, and it's just held in place there. So that's the key to you know, a quality VOC air purifier. Some other things you can do along the lines of source control is really where you store your you know, paints and gasolines and, you know, can you store certain things in the garage and away, <laughs> away from living areas or, you know, make sure things are sealed up. Um, when you're cooking with the gas stove, make sure the vent hood is on so you're ventilating the gases to the out outside. Uh, nitrogen dioxide is a common VOC that gets produced um, from cooking with gas, either propane or natural gas. And so it's very important to, to get that, um, you know, ventilated out outdoors. You know, one final point about VOCs that I would say is that if, you know, if you have a respiratory issue, you're 
tend to be much more affected by VOCs. But I would also mention that if you have pets, they have um, more sensitive respiratory systems. And also pets often are just stay at home all the time. So while we may go to the store, may go to work and may get out of the house, the pets tend to stay in the house and they have much more exposure with um, much more sensitive respiratory systems. And so VOCs aren't just important for people, they're also important for pets. And so it's important to uh, be aware of that, monitor um, kind of what you have. If you have new wood flooring, it'd be a good idea to get a carbon air purifier just to be able to absorb some of that, that VOC off-gassing. It can off-gas for up to a year after you get new floors put in. Um, and you know, you and your pets are both bringing, breathing in the VOCs. That's it for VOCs. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments or reach out to us at aronsi.com. And thank you.